a five hour drive, of course I'm pissed. We were never close, the old man and me. Because I never lived up to any of his expectations, that's why. Not out of spite or anything, but because I'm just not like him. First, I didn't move to Green Lake with him. Then I dropped out of university to try to become a cop. And then I failed at that as well. 27, still not close to the brilliant career he had. So we hardly talk at all. And now he asks me to come over? Leaving me a confusing voicemail that makes no sense at all? Could it be he's finally lost it? Early onset dementia? <sighs> Probably couldn't handle the retirement on his own. Should have thought about that when you left me and mom, dad. I haven't seen a living soul on this road for at least an hour. I know Green Lake is in the middle of nowhere, but you'd think there'd be some traffic coming up the road. Hank sounded nearly unhinged in his voicemail. Better not be sick or something. I mean, he's a bit of a bastard, but he is my dad. Ah, uh, the research facility where Hank used to work. Should be a left turn coming up soon. Nearly there. We'll see what the fuss is about. What the? Where did this guy come from? I think he's too- Ah! Hey! What the, what the fuck? Are, are you- are you trying to kill me? Shit! Shit, oh shit, shit, shit. Ah! Ah! Whoa, whoa, ah! Flashlight. The target has crashed his car. We'll confirm the death of Morris's son. Situation control team out. <sighs> Not waiting for that to happen. Why me? Who are they? <sighs> Questions for later. Shit, the car's a loss. Move your ass, John. Lungs are burning. <sighs> Nothing seems broken. <sighs> God, where am I? <sighs> Green Lake. You're my father's house. <clears throat> Maybe I can get there. I'm not seen. Who are those guys? Why would they do such a thing? Why? <sighs> John, walk now. Analyze later. the van again. Uh, where, where can I go? Run! The order is in. Shoot the target. I repeat, shoot the target. Hell no. God. God, shit. I think I lost him. Were those men wearing masks? Some military outfit I've never seen before? Oh God, I can't handle this. Even my vision's going all foggy. 
This is exactly why I didn't become a cop. I've got to avoid a panic. We're staying in the light, or it'll only get worse. Good thing I brought that flashlight. Research Institute. Look at those lights. Wait, those men in suits. Talked about Morris's son. Hank worked at the Institute. His voicemail. Is it connected? Is Hank okay? God, I can't think straight. Keep on walking, John. The house can't be far. house. Something's off. The lights are out. Something happened here. This is gonna be bad. Uh, okay, okay. Start thinking, John. Keep your cool. Build a case. Make a theory. Write it down. You can do this. The voicemail. Maybe it contains a message. Okay, Hank. Where are you? I'll write down all the clues and facts I find in my journal to help me keep a clear head and solve problems. Let's see if I can construct a timeline of events. Here I'll sort information in chronological order. I should be on the lookout for files, pictures, audio tapes, things like that. I should listen to that voicemail now. Oh, shit. Voicemail. Um, Jonathan, this is Hank. I hope this reaches your phone. You can't rely on secure telephone connections anymore these days. Now listen, you must visit me. I need to take you fishing in the lake for some big fish. I know just the spot. It might be in the dark at first, but there's some amazing stuff to see there. It had me quite captivated these past two weeks. I've got some nice pictures of it I want to show to you. Let me think. Yes, when you come to the house, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you'll brighten up the place. Home is where the hearth is, right? You'll need to get into the groove of things. Listen to some old classics. After which I'll have you do a number of things. I've got a whole schedule laid out for you. You'll see there's more to Green Lake than you first thought. I haven't forgotten you're afraid of the night. So, make sure you bring a flashlight with you. I have to go now. I have guests coming over soon. I have to prep the house. We'll call you later. Come to me, son. Drive safely. these letters. When was the last time Hank emptied this box? Someone taped the door. That's bad. What happened here? I'm not getting in this way. His old RV is still here. Does that mean he's around the house? old canoe. Well, at least I know he's not out fishing. A gnome. Really, Hank? A key. Must be the key to the kitchen. The 
key fits. It's dark inside. I don't like it. This image is important. God, what was that? All right, breathe, John. Breathe. Remember your training? Adrenaline does some crazy stuff to the body. You're spooked, that's all. Fridge? <laughs> Seems excessive, even for Hank. We still live together as a family 15 years ago. I could swear I saw it move just now. God, what was that? No, no. It's okay. A fuse in the fireplace? Why? I'm writing this down too. And maybe all together, the things in my journal will start to make sense. These documents hold important information. This looks like the order of a code.
mention something about fishing in the lake? I'm starting to wonder if he meant that literally. Driver? Better bring it along. Glad to have power again. This house is freaking me out. Come on, John. Time to find some clues. A recorded tape. This is Hank Morris, December 2014. I'm pissed. I want to get something off my chest. So, Barbara recently died. You know it's been nine years since I went to Green Lake and marriage ended, but still. She was a fine woman and a great researcher. It's a waste. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. See, I've just come off the phone with Jonathan. God, that boy drives me mad. I went to all this trouble talking to Mr. Reed, that's my boss, to get a job for Jonathan at the research department. Had to do some real hard talking, but made a good case. With Jonathan's background in psychology and all that, I had it all sorted out. I then called Jonathan, told him about the job, and offered he could live with me. I still have his room at the ready. But he outright refused me. Said he wants to go to the police academy, uh, become a cop instead, or, or a detective, or something like that. I mean, it's a goddamn waste of a good research education, if you ask me. And an F you to the old man. I'm, uh, I guess I'm just disappointed. Mom always said Dad left us behind. Sometimes I wonder if it was the other way around. Boxes at this angle? It looks like there's a number. A six.
Something about crop circles. Is he into that stuff? Jeez. Ugh, not touching that. It's about aliens. Why would my dad keep junk like this in the house? This image is important. Reinforced door needs a code. What's in the attic? There's a number written there. Eight. Recorded tape. You'll never guess what I just found. <laughs> this is Hank Morris, July 2015. Today, me and the team were clearing the old storage rooms of the observatory to create some space. Finally got a new coffee station I requested. And it was about time we got Carter his own office. Anyway, turns out those rooms haven't been open for 20 years at least. It was filled to the brim with all these boxes full of old telemetry sheets and research papers. I called it in at Mr. Reed's office, got Ellen on the line. She said she'd send a team from head office immediately to come and pick up the files, saying they should have been shredded years ago anyway. Do you imagine that? Throwing away all that research? 
figured there could be some interesting data in there we could use to match with the 2010 signal readings. So, as quick as silver, I grabbed a box and squared away some of the files in my car just before the team of head office came in. God, those guys are rough around the edges. I just read one of the reports. It's incredibly interesting. There's actual talk in there of extraterrestrial signals. In the 70s and 80s, they recorded a whole bunch of strange signals. Now, I've had a quick look at the telemetry, and I know it's way too soon for conclusions, but those signals look very alike to what we encountered in 2010, but more rudimentary somehow. Imagine that. Extraterrestrials. My first thoughts in 2010 were, this is a form of communication. Now, why didn't they publish these records? I'm thinking of maybe bringing home some equipment from work and doing some extra hours. Oh, this is a great find. This will keep me busy for hours. Finally, something to take my mind off things. Screwdriver fits. Uh, looks like there's a number here. Four. A recorded tape. my prime, my ass. Oh. This is Hank Morris, October 2019. I've just been sent off on retirement. I've held this job for 14 years now and did it well. I'm still young. I'm only 65. They still have scores years in me. But they wouldn't let me. Said it was time I let the younger guys push the boundaries of science. So now I'm stuck at home. Just me and yours truly. God, what will I do all day? I'll miss the talks at the coffee table, but I don't reckon my colleagues will come visit much. And I'm not quite the social call type myself, either. Oh, boy. Well, at least I'll have more time for my research into the alien presence in Greenlight. Quite sure I'll be able to pinpoint the ship they are hiding on soon. Just need a little more time so I can finally prove my theory. So sure as hell, I ain't going to return the WASCOM satellite I borrowed. No siree. Before taking all my stuff from the office, I set up all my work accounts for it. Remote access? Built in a little backdoor for myself. I'll be able to tap into the RICS network from here just fine. Yeah, maybe I'll do some digging into all that research of the 70s and 80s that they're so hush-hush about. Maybe I'll even publish a paper about it. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll show them some boundary-breaking research. A bunch of dimwits. Got it. Whatever's upstairs, this door can't be people Or something in. Uh... 
Okay, Hank. I think you wanted me to go here. So what is it you've been hiding away in the attic? Are you here? I need more light. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no, no. What, what, what is this? Oh, my God. It's some kind of freaky plant thing. Hank! These documents hold important information. This RICS looks like a major player. I'm writing them as a separate timeline in my journal. Recorded tape. This is Hank Morris, June 2010. We've just had an unbelievable situation at the observatory. Good God, I'm tired. We've been working for nearly 20 hours straight, I think. Better make myself some lunch or dinner soon. First, I have to record this while it's still fresh. Okay, so it all started with Carter throwing down a report on my desk saying the dish is broken again. Rubbish data, he says. I nearly choked on coffee. It might have looked rubbish to him, but for me, it only took one glance to see something was going on. This had communication written all over it. It's in the intervals, it's in the activity spikes. They know I'm worth my salt, so within ten minutes, we were turning the old girl around to try and get more readings. We spent hours chasing the signals before the signals dropped. I reckon we got a petabyte worth of data to analyze. Now, the brass at head office weren't too impressed, saying it was just our own radio frequencies, bouncing off planes flying over. That sure ain't it. Did they forget? I have a PhD in this. These frequencies are nothing like you'll find on Earth. And we didn't lose the signal, as Carter called it. Hell no. They stopped. Something was sending those signals. Now, let's just theorize. Put everything we think we know aside. These signals? There could be more to them. What if we're looking at first contact? Yes. I mean, I've been looking at data like this all my life. And never ever have I seen patterns like this. 
They aren't Chinese, or Russian for sure. It's communication. Could even pass for the static our own frequencies throw off for sure. But it is so alien to ours in very subtle ways. So, and likely as it is, if it is first contact, what is it they're trying to say? Some kind of map? A location is marked. Bring remote. What remote? Is it here somewhere? This image is important. shoot. Nothing more. Shit! It reacts to light? What is it? something. Nothing's happening. All these drawings. These are some strange plants, admitted, but aliens? Really? Okay, I've got a location to go, and a remote. It shouldn't be far from here. You better have some answers when I get there, Hank. Target's upstairs. Got him! There's only one exit. Through the garbage chute. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The order is in. Shoot the target. I repeat, shoot the target. Oh my god. I need to get away from here. They'll kill me. They'll kill me this time. What did I do? I must be nearing the location on Hank's map. That remote control. Hey, did that red light just turn on? I'll need to cross this field. Hank must be there. But I can't let the soldiers see me. Or my flashlight. Flashlight, I'll improve my chances. God, I hate the dark.
into. More plants. Do I need to go down here? Best be careful where I step. Thank you.